He's gonna dash at me. Not that it matters, but still. Silly cat. Alright, let's drink this coffee. Mm. I gotta wake up a bit. I'm a little bummed I can't be doing work. do the bonus games because we may win tonight. lost. We almost never lose that bonus game. Well, whatever. <laughs> there are others, but not really sure where they're all at. It's not a requirement to beat it, so... I guess we don't have to worry about it too much. Shit. 
Here, why not? Let's go the fun way. Hey! We finally did it. Although we don't really need to. Continues. What up, Jackson? Oh, nice. Is he playing Terraria? As always, I appreciate the host. I'm hoping tonight was the night we could beat this. We'll see. Tori is a pretty cool game, I guess. I wasn't very good at it. Thinking a sword was a bad choice. Still have to beat uh, the Moon Lord. Straight out of straight out of Aqua Team. Are you a moon master? You gotta get the cool sword to beat the moon master. Aqua Teen lied to me, who would have guessed? You can't use that show for life advice. Feel betrayed. Okay. <laughs> I want the other head, it sucks. God damn it, I don't want this one. Take this one. If you can get the um, the winged head, you can throw your head far enough that you can hit him no matter where he's at. All right, so let's do let's do this first. Fill up our life. We're gonna try to do the bonus games, but we lost the first one. It's kind of embarrassing.
Like, why are they shooting out to the side? You know what I mean? Like, all the times I played this game, they almost always went straight up. <laughs> a Z because my pen wouldn't write. Okay, let's just do it this way. Two. I am the worst piece of paper. Alright, let's go fight this guy. Thank you, thank you. I am a basketball master. Larry Bird of Dynamite Heady. That's tough. Somebody's got to be it. I'll take the burden on for all of humanity. If somebody in the universe has to be super cool and attractive and funny and popular. You know, as awful as it sounds, I'll do that. I'll be that guy for all of us. Because that's just the type of humble person that I am. I'm probably the most humble person in existence. Nobody is more humble than I am. <laughs> no matter how great I am, or how awesome I get, I just always remember. <laughs> Keep it cool. Bam 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 Shit, man, you saw me hit it. That was crap. Alright. You may be able to pull this off. Shit, I think we're dead. Ah. Oh. God damn it. Getting picked up in this game is so weird. <laughs> nice, I love the clip. Yeah, see, I thought he almost always came towards me. Uh, what? God damn it. <laughs> Fucking trash ass hitboxes. Ah. Uh. I don't know what the target is. I did not want to kill it there. Because I don't think I can collect enough of these to get an extra try. No. That sucks. Thank you. Thank you. 
We gotta collect the things that come out of the keys to get continued. And because I killed him over here, half of them went off screen. No, you're not allowed to be right back. You have to stay here the entire time. Forever. Terminator 2? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and isn't... I keep forgetting to check. Is it, um... Only the stages that have a trouble brewing boss. Terminator 2 is an awesome fucking movie, though. I haven't watched that movie in a long time. I should check it out. Uh, it does, doesn't it? That's a good question. I don't know if this stage has trouble brewing. I guess this one doesn't. Maybe it's only the one stages, since this is 4-1. I don't know why they turn blue. It's kind of disturbing, to be honest with you. See if we can shoot our head at an angle this time. Please drop. Kill him. Hey. This thing's not hard, it's just slow. I get annoyed at slow things. Slightly agitated. Well, ah, whatever. I wanted those points. You can fall down there to get up here to grab things. Oh, we need this.
Uh, no, I just assumed I knew what it was. Was I wrong? Man, these bonus games are harder than I thought. I mean, I've seen that, like, uh, you know, I've seen you made a clip. I just didn't watch it. I lived it, man. I was there. <laughs> About being the most humble person in the universe? No, no it's obvious, I mean. Nobody can be more humble than me. Oh. Shit. You can do that shortcut, but you gotta just get lucky in time it. Not get boned by the spike like we're about to do. Uh, that's impossible. Guess we'll take that. Can't hurt. Because to be more humble than me, you would have to be a greater person. And only the greatest person in the world can also be the most humble. They just go hand in hand. I don't know why we're doing this, but we might as well. It takes so many hits, though. Got a secret bonus point. But look, Hetty, no key master. Heather beat you to it, but she's gone too now. Am I out of coffee? I'm out of coffee. Man. I was trying to work from home tonight, but I can't, dude. I'm bone. I'm locked out of the project. Sucks. We're gonna lose two days, Saturday and Sunday, and then that means I'm gonna have to do what I was gonna do Saturday and Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, so we just lost four days. It's basically a week. Kind of upsets me. A little bit, like a lot. <laughs> So the symbols above the goals mean something? Never paid that much attention. I guess I always just assumed I was on a time limit and so you wanted to go quick, but now I'm thinking you're not so much on a time limit and you want to actually try to shoot the baskets. Okay. I want to clarify that that was a cutscene that I had no control over. He literally just went bonkers and just fell off the edge on his own. Like, I didn't do that. 
him trying to jump up the stairs there is entirely controlled by the game. So, that was... <laughs> Doesn't matter that much. I mean, he was just in the wrong spot and followed his move and jumping pattern, but he missed the steps, so he got followed. Through. the keymaster actually left Heather did nothing it's true is that like what's in the story because it is weird <laughs> like in the Japanese version is that because okay. okay. it's a weird thing that happens otherwise wasn't paying attention. Damn it. I don't quite understand what triggers him to die. I feel like it's it's my relation to where he's at. I don't a hundred percent know what it is yet. get hit there. Who's awesome? I'm awesome. Whoa. This boss, on the other hand, oh god, I was trying to adjust my seat. He always gets me. It's because you gotta be so slow with him. I get bored.
Ba-dum, bum, ba -bum. This is a cool looking boss. I get tired of fighting this guy though. Mainly because I struggle to hit him on this side. Well, that was pretty good. Dumb. See, I only got him one time there. So now we gotta wait. So hoping she was gonna be like, you've got another try. Lady girl. boss in the game. Well, definitely, I guess that's not true. The weirdest boss to fight, I guess, in the game. I fight a lot of these attacks hard to avoid. no life. We almost always never have any life fighting that boss.
Whoops. Oh. Sorry, I'm just trying to concentrate on the pattern of this boss. Okay. Try not to lose a bunch of lives so that when we go into the next section we can afford to make a few mistakes. We'd like to get far in this game with a bunch of lives. Hopefully, hopefully with all of the progress we've made and all the things that we've learned, we can put it all together and clinch it out. It's like it's like pooping in the potty for the first time. Finally, it all connects, and you just know where to sit. Clinch it out. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Someone that always gets me. The best idea would be to just not shoot there, but I'm not 100% sure where it's at. Why would I stop shooting? The game gives you infinite ammunition and machine gun rapid fire. If you use it. Bring it on, baby face. Bump, bump. If this is totally normal, and the person that made this isn't a weirdo at all, okay? I didn't think we were going to get out of that one without getting hit. The last second we got super lucky. So this guy is now one of the last ones that gives me a little bit of struggle. It's not too bad though, I just forget to pay attention. To both the hand and the lasers is the end of that sentence. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's actually faster to let him catch you. But I'm just saying, I don't. I don't think I did that. I might have done that. <laughs> Got another try. Wasn't paying attention.
almost missed out on my try. We only have one secret number though, so that's it's not great. But it doesn't matter. The bonus stage doesn't give you anything extra. Is this the weird gatekeeper robot? This is where it gets weird. Yeah, here we go. Now the game takes a turn for the worst. Alright, let's try to get another number. So... I don't understand the bombs. Am I supposed to blow the bombs up? So, like, that one already has... The cow? I can't. Oh, it's this cow. Alright, let's do the boring boss. Heather doesn't help me at all. He's an idiot. If she would just stay on one side, you know, we could take this dude out. Alright, now let's hope for a little bit of, a little bit of skill. A little bit of luck. Somebody in the universe has to be super cool and attractive and funny and popular. You know, as awful as it sounds, I'll do that. I'll be that guy for all of us. Because that's just the type of humble person that I am. <laughs> Probably the most humble person in existence. No matter how great I am. No matter how awesome I get. I always remember. Just keep it cool. <laughs> I actually really, really like that quote. Blow up! God damn it, dude.
we really need. Fighting this guy without using the bomb is stupid. Like, I did almost no nothing to him. <laughs> You've got a secret bonus point. You've got a secret bonus point. Ugh. <laughs> That's probably the thing I say the most. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Go up. I hate this head. I would rather it just take a bunch of life from me than make me just crawl around like this. This is the most obnoxious shit. Ugh, it's the worst. Man. I hate games that like... Like any sort of negative power-up or anything that like slows you down or like takes away from your character. Yeah, I never like that type of stuff. I've never liked these types of boss fights either. Like, I don't really have any control over how long that head takes to blow up. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... I, I feel like I don't have any control over this fight at all. But I pretty much just hope for the best. And I can't be true. I'm sure, like, speedrunners or somebody have a fucking method to it. But as a casual player, it just feels like complete luck. Like, whether or not he even returns the power-up that I need. Whether or not it blows up at the right time. You know, it's just... I don't know. I hate it. I really dislike it. It's a real shame, because up until this point, this game is pretty awesome.
And when you don't get continues, like you're not guaranteed continues, you know, it's kind of upsetting. That you can lose so many lives here. I mean, if we can't beat it, you know, I don't know. I guess we'll just keep trying. It's like, I have to do this, and I have to just hope he pulls back. Okay, he did. Yeah, see, and I missed the fucking bomb, and so, like, now what? You know? Okay. And then I'm gonna drop it. But... Uh, I don't know, maybe. Alright, see? Like, I feel like I got super lucky there. Oh. Okay, please give me a continue. Ugh. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully we have enough lives to finish this out. Yes. Hmm. I mean, there has to be a timing thing to that. It's just going to be such a pain to figure out, you know, it takes so long to get here. The Rocketeer. That boss is harder than the final boss. <laughs> There's a lot of truth to that. Shit. I don't think I'm gonna make this one. Oh, I'm gonna make this one. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? I'm not gonna make this one. <laughs> Like in Mario, when they reuse the clouds as bushes, this is just a big spike from the beginning. You can make it, you can make it! Oh, bullshit. Lethal weapon? That's my thought. A legal weapon is lethal weapon? Aw, oh, I missed a secret bonus. Whatever. Fun Forgiven is Unforgiven. The Clint Eastwood movie that is fucking awesome, by the way. You've never seen it. You just shot an unarmed man. Well. He should have armed himself. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's awesome. Funny thing about killing a man. You take everything he's ever had and everything he ever will have. 
hose. And we'd really like to get those Z's. <laughs> Kind of seems like it won't expand if I don't hit it, and maybe I can do this. Hey! Hmm. It was almost a good idea. Okay, that's the controller again. Something's going wrong. He did that earlier, he just ran to the right. That was probably going to happen anyway, so I'm not too upset about it, but I think when it disconnects... Last time he ran to the left, didn't he? I don't know. I know it's an unfortunate problem. Get him to shoot at an angle, though. Well, that sucks. <laughs> ah. I gotta stop trying to shoot him at an angle. <laughs> I can't get him to do it. my favorite quote? Oh, I don't know. That's a tough one. Possibly that last one you just entered, because it's a good one. Man, I wish I had continues in this game. I gotta be running low on lives. Wasn't paying any attention. I think it tells me when I die. No, oh, dude. Fuck. But yeah, yeah the, the flying orange thing is the worst. Fuck. Damn it, dude. <laughs> I don't know why I play retro games. <laughs> I think they're all terrible. <laughs> I think every single retro game always has like this point where it just suddenly becomes so shitty. <laughs> like, God damn it. We were doing good. We had fun bosses and things were cool. Again, like, you know what I mean? I have no control as to whether or not he comes within range at the same time these things circle around. So, while this boss isn't luck, it's 
just, I hate bosses like this. It's boring. Like, let me just hit him. tried, you know, but what was I supposed to do? Yeah, see, like, I'm fucked. Mm. Like, I can't do anything at all right now. I think it does eight. I think it's two, four, and eight. Thank fucking God. Of course, now we gotta do the crazy... We gotta do the hop across the spikes. Which is also crazy and stupid and shitty. Ah. Okay, there we go. Which is a shame, because I usually like timing things like this, but... Twin Freaks, though, I'm hoping that we found a strat and that we can do it. Okay, that might be a bad... I don't know. We could probably deal with that. You can kill it real quickly? Is it the way that I do it? I hope so. Oh, I never understood what was happening here, but that gate slides down.
hoping it is. And I'm hoping we can pull it off. It's weird, huh? <laughs> Get our life back. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Shouldn't be a big deal. We can do this. to have hit him more, but it's okay. No, okay, well, I guess I need this anyways. Oh, really? that time. We were really close. this way anyways. What the fuck, man? Oh my god. That's it, it's game over. Oh, I fucking hate this game. Okay, cool, I got an extra try. Yeah. Sucks. I mean, at least this is an actual boss, though. At least this isn't like. Hope you get lucky. It's just me not being great at the strat. Jump, jump, dude, jump. Oh my god. Jump. 
it. We're not grabbing those. They do nothing. I have like two lives though. Mm. Okay. We'll do better at that guy. It sucks we died a bunch there. But I'm understanding my own strat better. The gatekeeper and the sun still kind of fuck me up. Yes. If I remember right, this robot thing is bonkers. Yeah, okay. Just avoid. Fuck, man, I don't remember him doing that last time. It's all over me this time. What up, Seawalker? Thanks, man. Let's see. Do I have to fight this thing now? I can't remember. I don't, right? I run from it in the next stage. Real close to the end. Real close. There may be some miracle when we clutch it out, but... not counting on it because I don't remember what happens. supposed to jump. I don't understand the cat's movement. Like, how am I supposed to know if he's going to jump again or not? Like, get out of the way, cat. <laughs> Did I do it? No. Did 
Did I do it? That would be great if I did. I don't remember what happens. Is this it? Can we do this? Do I have another life? Tell me I got another life. <laughs> because I'm probably going to get hit at least once. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I'm going to get hit right here. <laughs> okay, I got two lives. We might do this, man. We might beat Dynamite Hetty. We just need a little bit of luck. See, when the orb glows, I can hit it. Good call. He's a cool looking dude though, man. He is awesome looking. The orb also tells me what he's gonna do, right? Like the green one with these spikes and stuff. rough, but we're okay. I guess you can get the power up for it. What's that mean? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. So it's pink, and then I would choose the right power up to help me. Oh, fuck me. We really need him to not do that one. <laughs> That's where the little bit of luck comes in. Like, come on, man. Help me out. Let me beat this game. This is just what we're gonna do forever now. <laughs> the game is like, fuck you, you don't get to beat me. What up, hoodie? Yes, sir. It's getting unfortunate, huh? Oh my god, again?
All right. Finally, some good stuff. God damn it. You know what I mean? Like, look how fucking close he is to dying, and look how close I am to dying. And I'm gonna die, and I'll have to do this on my last life. Because he won't stop choosing the pink one. Can I juke him? Okay, so maybe it's my position, right? So I'm gonna stand out here and see if, you know. I mean, this is the easiest way to kill him. I just need to get a little lucky. Hey, <laughs> we beat Dynamite Eddie. in there thank you thank you everyone thank you very much now we get to watch i believe some super long credits credits without crank man oh dude crank man's not in them it's a shame we all lose because of that. The strong men in the windows and the sumo wrestlers cranking the cranks and stuff, they're the best part of the game. Oh shit, I think that means it's on me and I'm totally gonna choose Mary Kate and Ashley. Ball mayhem for the PlayStation. Because <laughs> I'm curious. That and Chrono Trigger. Thank you, Seawalker. Oh, Hoodie needs to see the clip. <laughs> he does. It's a good one. Not my favorite song in the entire game, but still really good music. Plus, it's a pretty cool ending scene. Yeah, you like that? Trouble brewing is the castle. Frogger gets one closer. We are creeping closer to Frogger. Shouldn't take me long to beat Mary Kate and Ashley. Spike. Big Spike, also a rocket. Robo Collector. I love his face. Yellow Baron. Mr. Porter, Mr. Vell, Miss Daisy, Ducky. Soldiers. It's kind of creepy that they just have like one telescope eye coming out the middle of their head. 
McGee, Neil McGee, Catherine DeRuger. Is that what that said? Hunter Joe, Hunter Dog, Snake Eyes. Flying Soldiers. Marionette Paddock, Minor Soldier. Marionette. <laughs> Tumble sets. I love this, this boss. Mons Meg is awesome. Happy campers. <coughs> oh, it's okay, laddie. Super tank machine. Funky Jeep, man. I don't know why he's funky. He must listen to, like, Wild Cherry. He's listening to You Drop the Bomb on Me 24 Hours. Armadillo. Flying Shard Rocket Soldier Hover. Sky Battleship. Steven, Sam, Mackenzie and Mackenzie. Missile Man. Penguin, Anubis, Bullock. Taro. Ugh. Boo, Taro. Boo. Venus, Heady Trap. Shogun, Flipper Oarsman, Topo. Sparky. Propeller Head and Coco. Julian Tiny Tank. Aww. They're actually two people, but it sounds like one cool name. Puppeteer and Gentleman Jim. Gentleman Jim's drunk. You can just tell. Mad Dog. Wooden Dresser. Spinderella. It is a long ending. <laughs> you really feel like you got your money's worth, you know? Babyface, you struggle to beat this game and then when you get here, my parents always had the uncanny ability to know that I had beaten a game, Gatekeeper, and right when the credits would start rolling, they would knock on the wall and they would need me. They'd be like, get down here. There's so many games I beat I didn't get to see the entire ending of. Twin Freaks, Beanhead, Moneyhead. That guy fucking rules, dude. That guy's cool as shit. Dark Demon. I would join Dark Demon. Like, if he showed up right now and he was like, Yo, you want to take over the world? I'd be like, you fucking kick ass. Yes, I do. Do you listen to heavy metal? And he's like, oh, of course. Honestly, he probably listens to, like, pop music. I'm a big fan of Nora Jones. I'd be like, crazy, me too. I want to sit down and have a nice dinner with Nora Jones. You a dealer. She just seems like she'd be a nice person. Super Penangler. Also, as weird as it is, I'd really like to meet Skrillex. Because that dude came out of nowhere, invented an entire genre of music, and then, like, he's continued to be super famous, and you'd never hear anything bad about him. Headcase, hangman, bow, like... He must be a great dude. Heather. 
Smiley. Hetty. Smiley is actually the dark demon. Is that true? Because that sounds like something. Dynamite Hetty. Oh, now it's the credits. <laughs> ah. In Japan. Oh, I thought maybe that was part of the story that we don't get because we're Americans. Kabuchi. It would just be an even bigger reason to join the Dark Demon. Mastro Megawa? I don't know. I don't know Japanese names. I'm probably butchering all of these. Kiji Fujita Sark Yamen. Support programmer. Kazukio Ishida. Strong harpsichord going on? <laughs> it is. This is probably the best harpsichord song I've ever heard in my entire life. Also possibly the only harpsichord song I've ever heard in my entire life, but still the best. Don't want to sever endings and credits, but they aren't this long and you can fast forward them. Guest designer. The credits are as long as the game. <laughs> Sound producer, Nazo Squared Suzuki. Satoshi Barada. Katsukio Suzuki. Uh, three, PlayStation, well, it'll actually be four, because Mary-Kate and Ashley I'll have to add, because I add it as it gets chosen. So I think it's just Frogger and two random ones. Because, um, I think, I could be wrong, I have to double check, I think Funk Lord Earl subbed, but he deferred his choice to me. And I think his is next. But since I haven't actually put it down on the sheet as a game that's chosen, I haven't updated the number, so I'll say Mary-Kate and Ashley and turn that into four. And we're about to turn Genesis back into one. Poor Genesis. Just barely hangs on. Matt McKnight. Minecraft? Maybe. What I really wished I could do is work. Super bummed out I can't be working right now. I know that sounds weird, but... I wanted to get something done by Monday, and I'm totally screwed. I'm locked out. Battle Frogs. We could do a Battle Frogs run. I want to keep my skills sharp. Honestly, we'll probably just start playing Mary-Kate and Ashley. <laughs> Aren't you guys curious? A Mary-Kate and Ashley rando? <laughs> I mean, I don't even know. I've never even seen this game. I literally just seen it in the list as I was scrolling through them. I was like, Mary-Kate and Ashley? I think it's like Mall Mayhem or something like that. Like, dude, what the fuck is that? I gotta play it.
Those are my favorite types of games. The ones where you're just like, what is this? What is stage three of Mall Mayhem? Thank you for playing. <laughs> you know I selected the game. Because it's easy and Battletoads was hard as fuck. <laughs> and I was getting mad. I'm gonna do Ghosts and Goblins too. I mean, I've done Battletoads and Kaizo Mario 1. I might as well just do the next one. No, Battletoads is not easy. I can do it though. I can beat it in about an hour. Should have selected Final Fantasy 1. I, uh, when I gifted you a sub, I chose Final Fantasy 1 and 2 on the Game Boy Advance just so I could drop it and kick it out of the list forever. <laughs> but Final Fantasy 1 and 2 are still out there on the Nintendo. But that was like a double cartridge, and I'm like, yo, if someone chooses this, do I have to beat them both? Ooh, that's gotta go. <laughs> That's why there's so many Game Boy Advance games. <laughs> Should I be paying attention to these credits? I stopped watching a long time ago. I just straight tuned them out. I missed some secret points. Oh, yeah, whatever. All right, so at the end, we'll get to enter a bonus number, but I only got one letter, or one number, and that's two. So place your bets. Between 2,000 and 2,999, what number do you think I should enter? <laughs> 2313, 2019. 2420. Oh man, how am I supposed to choose? Is there like a randomizer on the internet? <laughs> we could average them. <laughs> we'll make a save state and we'll try all three of them. Alright. I mean, that's the end, so we're gonna make a save state. Maybe that's the end. I suck at basketball. Alright, we're gonna make a different save state, because we don't want to watch this again. Good god. <laughs> It must have been really hard to take all the blast processing of the Sega Genesis and cram it down that slow. <laughs> all right. All right. Two, zero, one, one. It was not that. Looks like SpongeBob finger. Okay. Two, three, one. No, my bad. Uh, 24, 20? Aww. Uh, Aww, uh, none of us were right. <laughs> I actually meant to do 26, 15. But I'm pretty sure now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Look, we could do this 999 times and eventually figure it out. All right, this is what we're doing for the rest of the night. <laughs> no, I'm really not. <laughs> Okay. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go to the games list and see what's up. RGG games. All right. So we beat, we beat um, 